Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this Batman piece from start to finish. And I'm also gonna pepper in some thoughts about Robert Pattinson from the new Batman trailer. Stick around. Okay, let's talk about Batman. Let's talk specifically about Robert Pattinson Batman. I'll admit, I'll admit I had my, uh, you know, I had my doubts, I'm not gonna lie. You know, when you first hear this guy, uh, this guy Robert Pattinson, old Bobby Pattinson, as I like to call him, was cast, most of us had a fucking thought or two. And you know why. You know exactly why. This beautiful, handsome, made of diamonds apparently bastard was in a couple of shit movies way back when. I mean, you know what a lot of actors are. So I decided to give him, give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me see what the trailer looks like. And lo and behold, the fucking trailer drops a few weeks ago and I am pleasantly surprised. You know what, more than pleasantly surprised, I'm fucking blown away. I'm so blown away. In fact, I get the hankering to start doing some drawing, which is what you see me doing right here. Or what you've seen me doing in the background at a sped up rate trying to figure out how I want to draw this new version of Batman. I get the idea that I want to see him beating the shit out of a thug. Well, what kind of camera angle do I want? Mm -hmm. If you look at the background video, you'll see I settled on a, uh, on a camera angle that was being shot from above and looking down on Batman. And if you watch the trailer, you know exactly what scene specifically was the one that made me want to draw this action moment. This or, you know, post action moment where Batman just got done pounding the crap non-sexually out of some nondescript thug. The icing on the cake is at the very end of that scene. He says, I'm vengeance. Which to any Batman dork out there, I mean, fuck man. That is, that's one of the fucking lines. That's, you know, without him saying, I'm Batman, he essentially says, I'm Batman, one of the best ways ever. And it's definitely an homage to one of the great scenes from the animated series. No, you are not my father. I am not a disgrace. I am vengeance. I am the knight. God damn, I forget how good that is. Whenever I hear it, it literally makes me want to go out and start watching Batman the Animated Series from the first season onward. Cause I think that, I think that particular episode, it airs, it's like within the first five episodes of the first season, correct me if I'm wrong. Back to the art. What I'm doing here, uh, also I'm sketching in Procreate if anyone was curious. That's why I was able to record it so easily. I've got the camera angle down. I have my perspective grid all set up so I know where to place people. And what you're seeing is me just super quick, super rough, just sketching where I think I want these uh, thugs to be. While I'm doodling, I realize that I want, I definitely want to push and pull the, the people who were in the foreground. I want Batman to be framed by thugs kind of looming over him. And I also want there to be bad guys in the background while he sits atop this body that is just, this dude has just passed the fuck out. <laughs> Batman has beaten the absolute crap out of this dude. He's bloody and his friends are next. Here's a little tip for any of you fellow illustrators out there. And you know, take this with a grain of salt because who the fuck am I? I'm a random guy on the internet. But I would say, as far as shortcuts go, you can kind of finagle with the amount of detail you want to put in those guys in the foreground. You want to make a couple of things pop out so that people know who or what they're looking at or looking in between in this case, but you don't have to go crazy with it. You know, you don't have to draw every single thread of clothing on uh, their bodies. You don't have to completely detail and render every inch of them. You know, 
they're just they just need to be two imposing figures. All right, here's a little quick tip, quick and dirty tip about perspective in Procreate. Uh, there's a really fucking super, super easy tool for it. Easier than the Lazy Nizumi tool, easier than the built-in Manga Studio, Clip Studio tool. It's awesome. However, just having a tool won't, it'll save you some time and it'll save you a little bit of headache, but it won't do all the work for you. So two tips to keep in mind when doing perspective. First being, uh, keep your eye on the horizon line, literally. Look at your piece and make sure where you want that horizon line because that will affect the second point, which is be incredibly mindful of your camera angle because where the camera is positioned in relation to the characters in your image, it's going to mean a world of difference. Looking at uh, the new suit, it was compared to the Greg Capullo, Scott Snyder run of Batman Zero Year in the comic books. Uh, now don't quote me on this, cause it's been like forever since I read it, but I'm pretty sure the Riddler has control over Gotham and uh, I don't fucking know, dude. The costume does look pretty dope though, towards the end there. I will say, I think the only real comparison that people had uh, were when the the like uh, secret paparazzi shots of the filming of the Batman were making the rounds on the comic book sites and everybody got to see uh, Batman stunt double on uh, the motorcycle. Uh, I said Batman stunt double. Uh, I meant uh, old, old Bob Patinson stunt double on the motorcycle. I think that's really where the, uh, I think really that's where the comparison ends. It's fucking Batman on a motorcycle. That's it. Okay, back to my draw. What I'm trying to do here is now that I have the foreground characters established and I know Batman is in the midground, I'm trying to figure out what his relationship to the characters in the in the distance are going to be. I know I want them to appear as figures and looming and kind of having him surrounded, but he was being drowned out. So finding the right values for everyone. I've obviously decided that the foreground characters are going to be super, super dark and contrasty. Yeah, everything's going to be black except their weapons. Now, the guys in the background, I'm keeping them super, super sketchy because I know at the end of the image, I'm going to have so much atmosphere and fog and whatever else between Batman and them. They're going to be so shadowy, I'm not going to have to go crazy again with the details. These guys are gonna have even less detail than the dudes in the foreground. Those guys in the background are really just there. They're fucking ornamental. <laughs> they're, they're just something to make the background pop. And again, to sell it that Batman is in fact surrounded by enemies. In this drawing, I kept pretty close to the suit references that I had from the movie. However, and this is a big however, I did stray a little bit from the movie suit version and you might have noticed that pretty plainly in Batman's mask, he has the white eyes. That's right, I gave him the fucking white eyes. As you can see, clear as day, his eyes are white. That's really my only major nitpick, my only major criticism of the suit is just give him the fucking white eyes already. Come on, dude. They gave Deadpool the white eyes. I think even Green Lantern had white eyes. Yeah, dude. They gave Green Lantern in that horrible movie white eyes. If they could do it in that piece of shit, you give Batman the white eyes. Okay, in this stage in the drawing, what I decided to do was add rain because something was missing and I wanted to give it that extra oomph. And I Realize looking back at the trailer, when Batman says that same line, I'm vengeance. He's wet. He's wet ass Pattinson, dude. He's wap. There's one other thing about the trailer that we didn't talk about, and it's the it's the eye makeup. It's the guy liner. A lot of people are complaining about that. But let's be honest, man. Uh damn near every live action iteration of the character has worn the eye makeup 
Keaton, Kilmer, Batfleck, Bale, they all wore the fucking eye makeup under the mask. Everybody except Adam West and maybe that other dude in that black and white Batman that was filmed in the 30s because that motherfucker probably fought in World War I and if a guy tried to approach him with mascara, he'd probably slap the shit out of him and tell him about what it was like in the fucking trenches in no man's land. Okay, that's enough for me today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, a comment, and maybe even a subscription if you're feeling frisky. If not, I hope you learned a thing or two besides I'm an idiot. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.